Hey, what's up, Crypto Army? I'm Travis, your Crypto Newbie, bringing you my experiences so you don't have to learn things the hard way. Just a reminder, I'm not a financial advisor. None of my content should be viewed as financial advice. If you like what my channel offers, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like the video, and turn on notifications so you get notified whenever I publish new content. It also really helps get my content to others that might enjoy it and to build my channel. Now, what do I want to cover today? I was actually planning on doing this video in a day or two, but I I've been on YouTube and I've been reading posts and I've been uh, keeping an eye on what the community for SafeMoon has been saying and there is a lot of concern over the potential consolidation that SafeMoon is planning to do. So I bumped up the schedule a little bit just to see if I could maybe help uh, explain how this works and in a way that I haven't seen anybody else try so this is how I normally break things down is um, uh, on the screen there I'm showing you now the calculator I actually planned on like this was <laughs> in the last couple of videos that I've done this was the calculator tab at the bottom so I hadn't decided what I wanted to call it or how I wanted to, to do this particular video so this is my approach to doing everything that has to do with rewards or redistributions or distributions or reflections or whatever you want to call them this is how I typically break things down as I use Excel to explain it to me in a math visual sort of way. It, it, it helps me process it. So maybe my approach will help some of you all out there that are having trouble with this. And I'm going to use this opportunity to kind of explain how what we've learned about SafeMoon as far as tokenomics. It applies to every single token that uses that type of an approach. Anything that redistributes a percentage back to its holders. It, the math works across the board. It works for all of them. I'm going to use this as an opportunity to explain it for SafeMoon and for Saitama because it applies for Saitama as well. And I'm invested in both. I'm also invested in a couple others, but those are the two big ones that I, I think have a really promising future. So I'm going to focus on those two for this particular video. So with that, let's dive into this. And I'm going to start at the very beginning on the rewards calculation. If you want to get to the consolidation, that'll be a little bit further in the video. Uh, but in the meantime, feel free to, to take a look at everything that's on the screen while I walk through the reward portion. Most Safe Moon people understand rewards. If you're a Saitama viewer, you may not have seen anything like this before. So I'm going to break this thing down as, as best as I can to help explain it. So this is the reward calculator. Step one is to gather data. I mean, that's that's the beginning point. And I put a couple references up on the screen just to kind of help um, explain the number of zeros when you're talking about these big numbers. Because when you start talking a, a quintillion, that's a lot of zeros. So I, I like to be able to copy and paste. So that's why I put these in there. So if I need to, I can move it over there. And I haven't moved quintillion over there because I'm not sure that any project that actually has a long-term future that uses a quintillion actually exists. Uh, Red Shiba, I believe, is a quintillion project. I'm, I'm, I'm fairly certain it's going to be a rug pull or it's, it's just going to fizzle out. I, I tend to think that a quintillion might be too many tokens. Uh, it remains to be seen whether a quintillion can work or not. In theory, all of them can. It's just whether you can maintain a holder base long enough to burn off the tokens or raise the price to, to the point where people are actually making any money off of it. And, and I suspect wheel dominance will be an issue for the length of that particular token. Anyway, that's kind of what we've got here. So this is the number key, just copy and paste numbers uh, of what uh, one quintillion, one 100, one 100 quadrillion in the case of Saitama, uh, one quadrillion in the case of SafeMoon and, and a lot of other tokens out there. And then just color coding, uh, green for calculation squares. And there's more than that, those are just kind of the key ones. And then any place you gotta enter any kind of information. So if we go over here to gather your token data, that's the starting point. So what is your total supply? So in the case of SafeMoon, it is one quadrillion. So you put that in there. Um, I, I put the dead wallet quantity in there because in the case of SafeMoon, and I'm not sure this is one of those questions I've got for say Tama down the road. What, are this, what is the plan for the dead wallet? So we're sending a whole bunch of tokens to the dead wallet. In the case of SafeMoon, eventually they're going to turn that mechanism off because you don't want to burn your entire supply. Every token that has a burn mechanism where they automatically send something to the token, it might be 10 years, it might be 20 years, it might be two years. I don't know what the, the time is going to be, but eventually you're going to want to turn that off because 
half of two, half of one, you can see where I'm going with this. Eventually, as you start breaking these things down, you're going to get to a point where you really want to turn that token uh, burn off. So I put that on there because I think it's going to be relevant in the future. And then this is just a, a simple calculation that tells you what, what the difference is and, and roughly what is the percentage you've burned. So in the case of, of Saken, we burned 42.51%. I updated these numbers in the, in the last couple of days. I think they're still fairly, we, we don't change numbers that quickly. And then what is the distribution rate? So in the case of Saken, it's 5%. In the case of say Tom, it's two percent. What is today's current price? Today's volume. I actually think this was yesterday's volume. I haven't looked at today's volume to see what it is, but it's generally in the range of anywhere from 15 million to 30 million on a good day. Um, and I put in there one billion tokens. Everybody's always talking about I want one billion tokens. That's kind of the, the going to for say Tama. I'm just going to round it up since they started off at 100 quadrillion. I'm just going to say a trillion token is kind of the, the number that you want to get to. And I, I think that's a good way to go about it. And the next thing is to determine your market share. And here's the calculation for, or, or the equation, I guess you could say, for determining your market share. So market share is the quantity of tokens you own divided by the total supply. Now, if they turn the burn off, total supply means it would be this number. So it would not be this after they turn off um, the burn because that's all you've got left is whatever number they stop it, that's your total supply at that point. So the, that's, that's partly the other reason I put that up there is because if they ever turn the burn mechanism off, it's going to be relevant. It's also going to be relevant if uh, they stop sending, which essentially turns off the, the burn mechanism, but if they stop sending any tokens to the burn wall. So uh, it changes things up because the burn wall gets a huge chunk of the token distribution. Out of that 5%, it's 42% essentially go towards the burn wallet because it, it, it's equally divided amongst all holders based off the wallet size. And St. Thomas is kind of the same way. So how many tokens? And again, if you enter the information up here in the yellow boxes, it transfers down everywhere else you need. So really, all you have to do is enter this information here and everything else will update uh, on this particular side. So token zones is uh, 1 billion. Uh, total supply again it just pulls it so that's your market share that is your percentage of the market for in this case safe moon next you determine how much rewards you get and rewards is a dollar amount uh, so whatever the outcome is it's going to tell you how much you're getting in dollars now what you're going to realize here is the distribution rate so what percentage are they giving you five percent your daily volume and the quantity of the tokens you own is the only thing that matters you don't see price in this calculation. It doesn't matter. And, and I'll, I'll explain why here in a second. So your reward distribution rate pulls down. Your daily volume pulls down. Your market share pulls down. The daily rewards at $33 million is $1.65 based off of all of the reflections and all the buys and sells across state. Now, the disclaimer here is, is that not all of the exchanges are doing distributions. So even if the total volume across everything out there is 33 million, you're really only talking about pancake swap and, you know, and uh, safe moon swap and, and maybe a couple others. But there's a lot of exchanges like BitMart, for example, that you're not getting any of the reflections. So it's better to take a look at the, the volume for the exchange where your safe moon is stored. It'll be a more accurate uh, indicator of how much you're going to get, at least until they can fix it with maybe the exchange or, or the next uh, V2 token that comes out. But that's that's important to know. So when the dollar amount doesn't match what you're actually seeing, that's why is because it, not all the exchanges are are honoring the distributions, so or the reflections as safely we'll call it. Really, what it is is it's rewards. So instead of staking, you're getting rewards for holding out. Yeah, that, that's really what it is. So it, rewards is probably the more accurate way to describe it. And that's why I call it rewards calculator. And then it just tells you how much you get per month and how much you get for, for, the, for the year. Now, I track my daily reflections or rewards. Every single day, every time I wake up around 7.30 in the morning, I, I put it into an Excel. That way I can calculate the monthly rewards for income purposes because you got to track all this stuff for your income. There, it, there's no tax disclosure that's going to show you what your rewards are. And you can't just do a roundup at the end of the year 
and say this is what I had at the end of the year. I don't think the IRS, if they ever audit you, is going to think highly of that because there's capital gains in some. You know, it's all yeah, it's all capital gains. So there's some capital gains there um, that aren't going to be recognized correctly, more than likely. So it's better to. I can't see doing it every single day for tax purposes. So I just add it up for the month. But in theory, I could. But the software I put it into. It, it, it wouldn't take kindly to me putting in a transaction for every single day for every single token that has distributions. That's ridiculous. So, if SafeMoon, if you're watching this, that would be a great piece of software to build into your blockchain. <laughs> a tax tracking software that tracks everything and then pulls back the reports at the end. Uh, I'd be willing to pay for that, especially if it's every crypto that I own. Because there's others out there and they're just not user friendly. Uh, and the ones that I have, I've done a video on the ones that are, and they're pretty good. But I, I think a, a run that's built by the blockchain would be better. But I, I digress, so I'm getting off topic here. So back to this. So what matters? We know the distribution rate is fixed. It's not going to change unless SafeMoon adjusts it in some way. Daily volume changes and the quantity of tokens you own changes. So what everybody keeps talking about is what happens when we get to a billion. What happens when we get to a daily volume of a billion? Because Dogecoin generally is two to three billion. So it, it's plausible to get there. It's entirely possible if we have enough holders and enough demand for the token because the ecosystem has grown to the point where everybody wants to buy it, that we could get to a billion. So let's put in a billion. And I'll just, I thought I had a billion over here. I guess not. So we'll, we'll just type in a billion. Matches our, our tokens on hand. So now we're talking $50 per day. $1,500 a month, $18,000 per year, per billion. That's not bad for just holding on to your tokens, right? So now what happens if you get more than a billion tokens? So let's say you get two. Everything doubles. Let's say if you get four. $73,000 per year for holding your tokens at $1 billion. And Dogecoin typically has two, two to three. And it's not even a very good cryptocurrency. It, it, I don't even know why people buy it. it. It doesn't really have a use case. And even even with Elon Musk pushing it, it still doesn't have a use case. At least SafeMoon's got a use case. They've got something they've put out there. They've got a wallet out there. They've got an exchange. Uh, blockchain that they're working on. They're working on partnering with. I mean, they they got a whole bunch of stuff in the in the uh, roadmap for them. So, but that's for the next video. But look at this: four billion, and right now you can get a billion tokens for I don't know, eleven hundred, eleven hundred bucks, twelve hundred bucks, one hundred and forty-six thousand dollars a year. Is it plausible that it'll get to two billion? I think so. Even if it stays at one billion. That's pretty good. Now, how long is it going to take to get to one billion? Who knows? I did not buy SafeMoon for a billion dollars in volume next year. And I think if you're watching this, you probably didn't either. I know you want a billion dollars in volume, and I know you want a high price, even though based off of just your income that's coming based off of what you own, the price really doesn't matter. Now, if you're looking to day trade it, this is not a good token for day trade. It's, it's got a 10% tax for the buys and sells. 5% gets redistributed. Uh, it's not a good day trade token. Now, can you make uh, the 22% so you so you get a little bit more profit on the back end? You absolutely can. Um, but that is not what this token is for, is for day trading. Day traders can do it, and I think they're going to build that in there. Uh, I'm... I'm a little concerned on how that affects reflections when they do some of those things, but you can see that that's a great thing. Now this applies to Saitama also. So I look. So as you can see, I made one for Saitama as well. Um, so I started it with the 100 quill drillion. Uh, their 55% has been sent to the burn wallet. They've got the 2% reflections. Uh, that's pretty close to the price the last time I checked. Daily volume, I put it at 1 billion. Because again, can Saitama get to one billion? I, I think they can. Uh, they were at thirty-ish million today, with fifty thousand holders. 
I think it's entirely possible. I think any one of these tokens can get to a billion because it's got a better use case than Dogecoin does. Uh, I don't. I think Dogecoin should just uh, keep dropping down. Uh, I, don't, I don't understand why people buy it, and I don't understand why it's so popular. And they got a huge whale population. Anyway, for this one, I assumed one trillion, one billion for Safe Moon, a oh, hundred quadrillion. Let's just do one trillion. All of everything else remains the same. We ended up with uh, our market share, and we can see that with one billion of daily volume, one trillion of tokens. And you're getting $200 per day, every day, for one year, $73,000. That's pretty good, right? That's not bad. So you can see that it works across the board. This is the exact same for every token that does this. It works the exact same. So you got to pick the ones that you think are going to have a long term. And, and I think St. Thomas long term. I don't think you're going to get immediately rich by next year. That's just reality. If you think you're going to get rich, people do. That happens, right? So everybody that bought Dogecoin at 0 0.0003 cents in December and all of a sudden was at 0.7 cents in, or 70 cents in uh, April time frame, they, some people were made into millionaires, but some of those people put a lot of money into it as well. But could that happen here? Absolutely. Say Thomas had a 400%, uh, I think I had a 400% increase on my return on my investment already. So I absolutely think Saitama can do it. Just don't bet that, that it will. I mean, I'm not a financial advisor, so none of this is financial advice, but this is just simple math. And you can do the equations yourself. This is, this is, this is easy. I mean, do the calculations. Track your, uh, your rewards. Every day I wake up, record everything. What did you have yesterday? What do you have today? What's the difference? How many, how many is that? What's that times the, uh, the current price? And is it going to be roughly, you know, depending on what you're, what the day you plug this stuff in, does this work? So if this is something that you think would be helpful, let me know. I can drop it into the description and then you can play around with it yourself. It's just an Excel file. It doesn't have any macros or anything that can then harm your computer. And I would probably share it through Google Drive anyway, and they do their virus scan. So it, it's simple. So that's rewards. Let me know if you have any questions about rewards. Now let's talk about. Oh, I forgot. I was going to talk a little bit about price. Why price doesn't matter. So for all these tokens that have a ridiculous amount of supply, it's better to have the price low. And hear me out with this. I know everybody wants to see this huge increase so they have a huge profit and then they can sell. And if that's what you want, then okay. I mean, I think you'll get your opportunity. I wouldn't do that on Saitama because you might have that 5% uh, whale, the, the whale tax that takes off like 50% of your profits. Be careful with that with Saitama, but Safe Moon, that happens all the time. We lose whales all the time. So the whale dominance continues to drop because they continue to sell and realize their profits or move into other tokens that are having better returns on their investment because uh, there are. Saitama is one of them. Uh, if I'd invested everything that I've gotten safe in and Saitama, I'd probably be I'd, I'd be doing really well right now. But I trust Saitama and I trust Safe Moon, so I'm going to move tokens I trust less into these two, and then I'm just going to put my you know my my monthly what I want to put into uh, crypto into these things. So, but one billion. So. If we get a market value or a, a daily volume of one billion, we can assume the price is going to go up, right? I think that's intuitive. Our price, our volume continues to go up by millions, and our price continues to go up by incremental increases. So by the time we get to one billion, doesn't matter which token you're talking about, the price has gone up. So what's different when the price is higher? When you buy a thousand dollars at the current amount, you get around a billion tokens. Or in the case of, um, I don't know what the number is for Saitama, a thousand dollars you might get, I don't even know, maybe 200 billion? I'm not even sure. I'd have to, I haven't done the math on that. But We'll use Safe Moon as an example because I know that a thousand dollars there is roughly one billion tokens. So a thousand bucks gives you one billion tokens. As the daily volume goes up, the market price goes up. With it, the amount of tokens you get decreases. So if it doubles, you get half as much. So instead of one billion, you're getting five hundred million. If it gets up to a dollar, you're getting a thousand for a thousand dollars, right? 
So the higher the price gets, the less you get. So this right now is your opportunity to get as much Safe Moon and Saitama as possible so that when that price continues to go up and you're no longer, because we're not rich, I don't have a million dollars and I can throw at these cryptos. If I can throw a hundred dollars, I'm I'm happy with that. If I can throw a thousand, I, I must have inherited something. So I, you know, we aren't rich. And if you're rich and you can throw millions of dollars, that isn't the rest of us. The, you know, the 2.6 million people that have invested in SafeMoon, most of them probably didn't throw thousands of dollars at a crypto. They probably didn't put that much money into it. They put in what they could afford, and they continue to do that. The more tokens they get. The closer to this reality of tokenomics that they get, so they can get that two hundred dollars per day, or they can get that fifty dollars per day per billion. So that's why the price not going up is good. I actually look forward to the price going down so I can increase my position size because I'm not happy with it. I, I would much rather continue to move towards that one billion that everybody wants, or in the case of say Tama, maybe it's that one trillion or the two trillion or the three trillion. But increasing in a project that I know is going to do well because I know how the math is going to work in the long term. I can see it as long as the project doesn't fail and I don't think either of them are, are set up to fail they've got good teams and good fundamentals and they've got a good roadmap and a plan so I, I I believe in the program the projects and I think they're gonna do okay so that's why I don't think the price really matters now where price does kind of matter is the consolidation example because I, I do have you put in the current price for a reason and it, it comes into play over here so I can explain the consolidation so on the left hand right here above the line you're going to see the current situation so no consolidation right what is the current price and it pulls it from over here so whatever you put in there that's what it's going to be it's just going to be rounding that's why it looks different it's just a rounding thing this is the future situation so what I plugged in the yellow box is a thousand to one ratio difference so let's say everything gets cut by one thousand right because that's an easy round number to work with Everything gets cut by a thousand. So the number just shifts by the thousand. It just gets divided by a thousand. So you can see the number of zeros has been decreased. The number of tokens you have gets reduced by a thousand. So three digits are missing. The current value stays exactly the same. It does not change. As long as the consolidation is across the board, across every possible token out there, your value does not change and they have the ability to control that so that's what we should expect whether it's the liquidity pool whether it's the dead wallet whether it's your individual holdings everything will be divided up by the whatever ratio that they come up with thousand to one ten thousand one whatever it is now some of you are saying well i've got a billion tokens right now or i've got a trillion tokens right now i really like that number because it's going to be easier to get to a billion dollars. You know, if you get a billion, a billion tokens, the assumption is you're going to be a billionaire, right? <laughs> you might be in a decade. Uh, I don't know how fast it's going to grow, but you know, that, that's a big number uh, to get to a dollar. Now, from this number, it's a big number. No matter what number you, what it, no matter what it is, it's a big number, and that's what this is going to try to show you. So, if I multiply both by a million. The price is a cent. So if it increases by a million, it's a cent. And you'll notice 1482. If this is, if this was pushed over a little bit, it would be 1482 as well. It just means that after the 1,000, you have to get to 14 dollars and 82 cents per. That's what multiplying it by a million gets to. It doesn't matter whether the number is really small here, or if it's post consolidation here. The million has the exact same effect. Nothing changed. The value has not changed. Whether it's one cent or 1482. So what's what's interesting, let's say that we took this up to ten thousand. So it's a hundred and forty eight dollars and twenty cents. Ignore the zero on the end here if you if you've got uh, you know, 10,000 or 1,000, ignore that. It's just, a, I don't have the decimal points. So it's just not taking it out to the decimal points. You, you never end up with zero tokens at the end of this. You'll end up at fractionals, right? 
So just like Bitcoin, and that's where I'm trying to take this conversation to. So Bitcoin, in order to buy, what is $5 of Bitcoin? Has anybody tried to buy $5 in Bitcoin? It's like 0 .0001 you know, or something like that. Some, some really small number. Well, I can buy $5 of Bitcoin or of a safe moon easily. Even a million times from now, I can buy it really easy. It's only a penny. So I still get a whole bunch for $5. I get tons and tons of safe moon for five bucks, even after it is increased by a million times. So I don't, I personally don't think that safe moon should do the consolidation. Not because I like the idea of a billion or a trillion or you know whatever number. It's because over time, this is going to be more practical than Bitcoin. If you know, what is five dollars buy you in Bitcoin when it's a hundred thousand dollars for one Bitcoin? Where does that get you? You know, is it is it nine zeros, eight zero? I, I don't even know. I have no idea. I didn't do the math on it. You guys can do the math. It's a ridiculously small number. So you're going to put $5 into Bitcoin and have that ridiculously small number so you can go buy a Coke with it. it let's, let's just say it was adopted as a legal tender. I, I don't think it's practical. I, I think it's it's comical to believe that. I think SafeMoon's approach is much more, um, it makes a lot more sense. Even at 148.20 after 1,000 or 10,000, I, I think it still makes more sense. You're still you're nowhere near 100,000 because this is going to take years, if not a decade or longer, to get there. No matter which way, a, a million increase it's going to take a while. Now I, I don't know what the exchange and all the other things they've got planned is is going to do to the the burn rate, but the burn rate is going to help us get here also. So and again, that's just another reason why I think the consolidation doesn't make a lot of sense. But I'm also not worried about it because the math doesn't lie, and this is simple math. It's just divided by a thousand or a ten thousand or a hundred thousand, whatever the, the multiplier or the division that they decide to use or the ratio that they use, that's how it works out. So hopefully that, that helped clarify things for you to be able to see in numbers what's actually happening because nothing is really changing. The only thing that's changing is that after the consolidation, you might have been able to buy a billion tokens for a thousand dollars. And instead of a billion, maybe you're buying a million with a thousand dollars or maybe you're buying a hundred thousand with a thousand dollars immediately after but it's still a thousand dollars worth of tokens nothing's changed just the number that you're buying is different immediately after if one billion is the equivalent of one million nothing's changed it's still a thousand so don't worry so much about the consolidation if that has you worried the math doesn't lie now, if you're worried about the consolidation, go ahead and sell. Uh, the price will go down and I'll buy more at a lower price. I've been hoping that it drops below the 10 level for a while for SafeMoon. Uh, Saitama, I have no idea when it's going to come back down, but it's in theory it's still low, but it's nowhere near what I paid for it initially. So uh, I don't know that I'll ever be able to buy it at that price again. I mean, imagine when it was at the 820 level like a month and a half ago, where you could buy a trillion for. 800 bucks. Uh, I don't know what a trillion goes for now. It's probably like 15,000, maybe. Uh, I don't know, 16,000. So hopefully this helped explain tokenomics. Now, what's really interesting is SafeMoon with its cryptonomics. So if you haven't been looking at SafeMoon, if you've been on the Ethereum network and you're on SafeMoon and you're on uh, you know Saitama and Shiba Inu and all those. Take a look at SafeMoon. I think you'll find it very interesting. It's got a, a it's got a great team. They got a lot of drama. There's a ton of fun in SafeMoon's community. It's ridiculous how much is in in the community. So, I, I you have to avoid watching SafeMoon videos every day because all you're going to hear is fun nonstop across the entire uh, community. And some of it is is legitimate. Uh, Safe Moon does some stupid stuff. I'm going to cover Safe Moon in tomorrow's video. I think that'll probably be ready uh, maybe the day after, so it, Thursday maybe. 
Um, I just really wanted to get this one out there because there's so many people that are worried about the consolidation and I just haven't seen a good example that I think people will understand and, and I think they'll understand this better and, and I think that say Tama's community will benefit from the reward calculation because nobody's really talking about the benefits of the rewards and this is a significant benefit and I hope you all agree. So the last thing I want to cover as part of this calculator is the effect of consolidation on your reflections. So again, nothing changes. When they apply a ratio, whatever it happens to be, it applies across the board. So if the magic number was a billion before to get to $50 per billion of volume, instead of a billion, whatever the, the final ratio is, let's say it's a thousand to one, right? So it's a million instead of a billion at that point. Instead of requiring you to get to a billion, after the consolidation, you would just need a million with a volume of one billion to achieve $50 a day. I think that's also part of the concerns people have is that they're shooting for a billion so that they can get this $50 a day and we're going to chop it down to a million. Well, it, when they do that ratio, it applies to that equation as well. I mean, do the math. You've got the equations there, and if you, again, if I, I can put this up there if you want to look at it, all the numbers are just cut by a thousand. So your total supply changes by a thousand, your dead wallet quality changes by a thousand, this gets changed by a thousand, everything gets cut by a thousand. The, the price is going to go up by a factor of three zeros probably. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what the final number will be, but whatever a thousand dollars bought before, uh, it, it will be effectively the same after. What won't change is today's daily volume because everybody's still spending the same thousand dollars or the same ten thousand dollars or the same one million dollars. So as you can see, the the numbers transfer over. The other thing that's changed is you're not talking about billions anymore, you're talking about millions, or you're talking about hundreds of thousands, whatever the ratio divides things out to be. So again, don't worry so much about the consolidation. Look at the math. The math isn't lying. That's just my recommendation. And again, I'm not a financial advisor, but it's math. Hope you found this video helpful. I reviewed the comments, so make sure you leave any suggestions, requests, or questions you might have. Uh, if there are any topics you want me to dive deeper into, definitely let me know. I'll put a link in the, the uh, description for a couple of affiliate links that I have. Uh, Please, you know, click those, check them out. They're great websites. I, I've tried all three of them. I've got a video on all three of them as well. TradingView is a great free option, so I don't necessarily recommend paying for the option, but uh, I've got that link in there as well. My next video, as I mentioned earlier, is gonna be on SafeMoon. I'm gonna do kind of a, an intro and then my, my assessment process for SafeMoon. I just did a uh, Saitama that'll publish in the morning on Wednesday morning. Just a reminder, if you found my content helpful, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and it might help you catch my content in the future if you turn notifications on so you get notified when I post new material. Until next time, stay strong with those diamond hands.